health and veteran politician E.T. Mensa has expressed praise for President Ekufodo's free SHS policy that is scheduled to begin in September this year. According to him, this is achievable and will ensure brilliant students who can't afford to fund themselves through school gain admission into senior high school. President Egufuado announced the commencement of the free SHS policy while delivering a speech at the 60th anniversary celebration of the Okwapeman Senior High School. The president explained that the policy would cover tuition fees, feeding, textbooks, free boarding as well as no charges for utility, computer and science labs and examination fees. Thus, the one-time mayor of Accra says is best for the development of the country. Education is a key that if you don't have it, you are in trouble. And there are people who are disadvantaged. So for me, anything that anybody talks about, about free SHS, I will go for it. You cannot say that it's not until that, but no, 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 no. You know, I am a tough-minded optimist. And I believe there are people who are like that too. And it was only from that background that you will say, I'm going to do the free SHS and carry on. When you talk, people don't understand and they think that it's this is all partisan. It's something that is important. The former member of parliament for Ningo Pram Pram also dismissed assertions that his last minute decision to back out of the Council of State elections was due to fear of defeat in the elections. He stressed that he would have won the election but decided to stand down because of the protests from his grandchildren who expressed worry over how he was insulted on social media. You the media people too, you have to help us. When things breaks out, share the constitution, find out and educate the people. The ignorance is too much and like they insult everybody like they are children that they are whipping. When they disagree with you, they want to insult you. So okay. I decided on principles that this one, let me step down. Speaking on how the NDC party can be made battle ready for the 2020 elections on 3FM's Sunrise, he proposed a reconciliation process to bring back those who left the party in pain. What I think personally is that we need to have true and reconciliation platform. We need to create it and let people pour out their hearts. A lot of people have been hurt. When you meet them, a lot of people have been hurt. We have to bury our pride and apologize. Let's get, no matter what, let's get the former first lady on board. Let's get Dr. Obeda Samoa on board. Let, there are quite a number of people.